Well, hey guys, Amy from Colorado Mountain Living. This is the video we've been waiting for, at least I've been waiting to get to this point, to finally finish up the retaining wall and all the landscaping of the backyard. So let us take you through it. There's still quite a few more steps to go, even though we got the wall completed. But uh, just to finish up that backyard, we wanna show you how we sort of finished it out, um, all the landscaping, the gardening, and uh, everything that went into the final look for the backyard. Let's go take a look. First step was to clear out all of the junk that was in the back. All the tools, all the stuff hanging around, all the garbage. That was the very first thing we had to do. Be a rake. Get up there and just rake it down.
All right, so I just got um, a wheelbarrow full of rocks and I'm going to be putting them around the, uh, the base of these posts because this is actually a look that Brian's going to do eventually with some masonry work, but I'm just going to like set it up to show you what it could look like. <laughs> and I'm not, sh I'm not really sure when he's getting around to that. So, um, so I picked the, we have so many rocks. I picked a bunch of rocks from, uh, the driveway, different piles of dirt. So I'm putting, just putting them around the base to kind of show you what it's going to look like. I got these really cool planters at wood, wooden planter, bar, uh, whiskey barrel planters at Home Depot, and gonna fill the fill the bottoms with an inch or so of gravel. This one right here, I got some plants in, so pull them out for now. How excited am I to finally be putting plants in a planter? Pretty excited, I'll say, pretty excited. I've got a lot of plants here in my transplant garden that I'm going to be moving over to these barrels. So yeah, this is definitely rocky. So I'm gonna pick out, take some time, pick out the big rocks, um, and then I'm going to start mixing it because I do have some other soil. Um, I've got gardener soil and I've got peat moss and I've got alpaca manure. So um, I just wanted to get sort of like a base in there just to kind of um, um, get it started. But I'm gonna be amending this a little bit more.
Right, folks, you know I've been working hard all day, so I know you're dying to see the final reveal of the finished landscaping for the retaining wall, so let's go take a look. Here's the final positioning of the, of the raised garden beds. You can see I uh, worked to stain, on, to stain them, do a little bit of waterproofing there. This one's gonna get some of the seedlings that are inside in the grow light. And then over here, I was able to take a lot of those vegetables that were in the pots and finally put them in a bigger place, a bigger bed. So we've got some romaine lettuce and kale and a beet, a lone beet. But the beet's got a lot of friends coming from the, from the grow light. So um, the garden beds were a blend of all kinds of fill. We've got na native dirt fill. We've got uh, alpaca manure. We've got um, soil garden um, stuff that I had gotten from the from the store, some peat moss on top. Um, I'm going to put this potato in a, in a larger bucket, but let's spin around here. Look at the difference the wood chips made. And then I picked up these wooden planter barrels, filled them with some native flowers. We've got the Russian sage and salvia. They grow well in this climate. They, put it, they, they basically build it. So, are you happy with how it came out? Yeah, it looks so much, so much nicer now with all that extra space. Yeah, extra usable space, not just a dirt pile. Yeah. yeah dirt slope. Dirt <laughs> slope, exactly. Plus, now the sewer line has got is more insulated now. Right. So. Mm hmm Yeah. And again, this is just sort of like our sort of our temporary landscaping. Yeah. You were talking about, you know, at some point maybe in the future doing the patio or right. something a little bit more ornate right. than wood chips. But we want, we don't want to do you know, when they when we start building this piece it's gonna get all torn up. So mm -hmm. yeah. Not a good idea to put something kind of permanent down yeah. at this point. So we good? Came out great. <laughs> Beagle's even got a spot for his beagle bed over here. <laughs> but what a big difference with the wood chips. Let's go look at the wall from the front. This is the hard angle to get because the walking on this hillside isn't too easy. So what can I say guys, what a huge project. We are so happy to be done, at least on this side of the wall. Our next project's gonna be working on the side stairs on the side of the house. So still using railroad ties, still a lot of landscaping to happen, but we are just so happy to be done with this big backyard landscaping project, the retaining wall, the wood chipping, and then the fun part for me, you know, the landscaping and the gardening, definitely been happy to get to that today. It's been a long day of working. I think I'm covered in dirt, which is fine. You know, that's hard work guys. So thanks for joining. Happy to share our final video on the retaining wall itself. And we'll catch you on the next one. We'll keep you up to date on the side step that's coming up next. We're stepping down the side of the house with railroad ties and uh, just doing like a micro retaining wall there. But we'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye. <laughs> so I may have to rest. <laughs> Never. <laughs> nice. I like to think that. Just keep keep it going. <laughs> the same key.
Do you like some? I have a book. <laughs> <laughs> so you practice. Yeah.